All right, everybody. Welcome to Shift Heads. Got a few more things to do on the excursion and not a whole lot of time to do it. Dude thinks he's hot shit in the wine glass. You roll through town in my Chevy Duramax with the exhaust. Okay, so what we're doing today is a bunch of little stuff. Uh, mainly I'm gonna work on the parking brake cable because uh, that broke and it's been without a parking brake for a couple of years now so I can finally get that taken care of. Uh, I need to reconnect my trailer brake controller here because my brother uh, he's been pulling around a double axle gooseneck camper and he didn't have trailer brakes so for his birthday I bought him a brake controller but we didn't have the correct connector um, so I just gave him the one out of this one because his truck also had the towing package and I've got a new cable to put in there from Amazon. Uh, another thing I want to tackle is since we got this uh, all this steering stuff done this stabilizer I need to push this further that way and this is in the way of that so I'm gonna take this off swing this over here so we can actually turn the wheels all the way to the left now because uh, it makes left turns interesting. Oh and I'm uh, gonna put in what's in these boxes which are seat heaters for my wife because winter's coming and it's going to be really cold and I'm going to put that thing back on. So yeah, let's have some fun. So, let me get you under here. We'll see right here. I'm going to undo this cable here. There's a little, little pin on the back side of this that I can pull out. And pull undo this cable, pull it through here. I already pulled it through the frame there. I don't have to cut it from this harness here and then I can push it through the bottom and then we should be able to get this back together. And hopefully, I won't regret not having safety glasses while doing this. Come here, little bastard. Yeah, see, so we can just unwrap that from there. And we can pull this out from there. And then we just got that rubber grommet right there that we need to push through. And we should be able to get this out. It's gonna be interesting getting that grommet out of here. So let me set you guys back down while I figure this out. Hopefully without breaking anything. Or should we try and push this grommet through the other way? Oh, what's going on? I'm messing with the seat settings. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's toast. All righty. Bingo. Yep, there's the problem. One week later. <sighs> okay, so we started filming that a uh, little over a week ago. And uh, I got the emergency brake cable in. And that was actually quite a pain in the neck. But it's, it's in. It works for the most part. I still need to adjust on the rear shoes. Uh, got the heated seat covers in, um, but we already have a problem. A fuse blew somewhere, so I've got to replace that. Uh, still need to adjust the front steering dampeners because they're not right in the they're not in the same spot they should be. And now you can't turn the wheel all the way to the left. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I do apologize for the delay but as i was filming and doing all of that my youngest son came out and decided he wanted to help me and he takes precedence over you sorry what levi what you i'm playing with the truck Dad, the car. yeah my car not your car and here comes the storm i was talking about see if we can get it that's a good one and now it's raining and now we've got hail. And things that have been happening with the camper, my dad came over and helped me to winterize it, basically make sure that nothing's gonna freeze up and all that. And I was gonna put it in storage, but uh, we're supposed to have a really, really harsh winter this year. And I've decided that since this has its own generator and it's the propane tanks are full, 
I'm gonna leave this here in case we end up losing power in the house. We still have the ability to use this and stay warm and have electricity and all of that. So we'll keep that there as it is for now. But over here, I've got fuses to try and fix the heated seats. And yeah, don't worry about that, I'll get to that later. So anyway, let's try and crack at that. Let's figure out what's going on with this. Nothing. And a quick way we can figure out which fuse is bad is we can find out using a test light. See, that one's got power, that one's got power. That's got power, that doesn't. That's probably my bad fuse right there. I'm gonna go get some pliers. Go ahead and pull that sucker out. Take, oh yeah, that's popped. That is definitely popped. You can see if that's gonna focus. Definitely popped. Don't know if you can see, but yeah, it, it's, it's a goner. So let's go ahead and plug her back in. That was not it. That's it right there. Now we have, come on. My thing just came off. Sounds like a personal problem. Power there, power there. Okay, that's got power. Okay, those heated seats should be on. Well, there's one problem fixed. Next, if this thing keeps blowing fuses, I'm gonna have to figure something else out. Helps if I put this in the right way, huh? So I gotta get down here. Get down here. And if you wanna jump down here, and I'll show you what it is. This piece right here that you can see my finger on, this piece that you can see my finger on is in the way of this piece, which is the steering stabilizer. And y'all can see it's pretty soaked right now. But really all that this piece that I'm taking off right now does is keeps this tie rod thing from spinning off. And so I'm just gonna take it off if I can. Come on, you little bastard. Uh, there we go. So now that that's off, we can undo, uh, we can get rid of those. Where'd the nut go? Oh, here it is. We can undo these. A little bit. And actually, kind of slide this whole assembly over a little bit more. Kind of where it just kind of sits in its neutral spot. And then we can Boom. And now we should be able to turn the wheel all the way to the left or all the way to the right. I hope. Yeah, but the problem is, is I really need to replace this whole setup because this is this is wrong. This is not the correct setup for this truck. The problem is, is this piece over here. Let me show you there. This this piece that this is this side is attached to is actually welded on to the cross member of the truck and it's not supposed to be like that. So it's actually just supposed to be one single shock for the two wheel drive units. And I've got two pieces and yeah, it's just, it's bent, it's not right. And so I gotta redo the whole thing. It's just, I don't have the correct expertise to do that right now. So anyway, a a another thing I bought for the excursion were sway links for the rear, but I just noticed the problem and if y'all wouldn't mind taking a walk with me, we're gonna find out what that problem is. <sighs> so, uh, need to get down there to figure out what kind of sockets and wrenches and whatnot I might need. And I come down here, and if you wanna, thank you. I come down here and I notice Something uh, rather important is missing. Extremely important. Uh, the sway bar's gone. 
Like it, it's not here. It, it, it doesn't exist on this one. And what I'm, what I'm assuming has happened is when they put the lift on, which wasn't designed for this truck in the first place, they couldn't find sway links for the rear large enough. So they just took the rear sway bar out. So now, ow, we come back over to this side. See, nothing, there, there's, it's, it's gone. I don't know where it went. So apparently I bought this truck without a sway bar. I don't know how I managed to do that, but oh well, uh, welcome to shift heads. <laughs> now I got to find out what it is I'm going to need to get all of that. So now I go searching for parts. So, so Ryan here is tired of seeing his truck just sit here and not have anything done to it. So he's scraping the Bronco sticker off of it, which makes me proud. You gotta scrape off that other one over there, whatever that is. I, I, me neither. <laughs> you gotta get to that one. Yeah, since we're at a standstill and, and we don't really exactly know what to do right now, because my freaking sway bar is not on the freaking excursion, just disappeared. Uh, okay, so since we can't put the sway links on, I guess I'll put this thing back on it for now. But uh, we have a little bit of a problem. Ryan, hold the camera. I showed you what the problem was, so let's show them what it is. When I go to put this on, I gotta go in on this side, just like that. It's gotta go in on in the inside of that piece that I got there on the frame. But if you come over to this side, it ain't gonna go in. So I'm just gonna bend one of these out a little bit till we can, so we can get it to the point where it's on. And then we can just shove it into place and then throw some bolts in it and see if we can't just get a little, just a quick little bend like that. What the hell? I ah! think I need to, I think I need to bend this one on this side too, just a little bit. Just to, hang on, there we go. I need a hammer. Need to come down just a little bit. Now, that one's kind of in there. Let's try and get all the rest of these lined up. That was stupid. There we go. So let's do, let's use the open end instead of the, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll just take that bit out. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just take it out. I'm the editor. I'll, I'll take it out. Oh, yeah, this side's just spinning. Thanks for telling me, Ryan. Sweet. Yeah, it moves a little bit, but it makes it look somewhat better. A little more aggressive, a little more, hey, you get the hell out of my way. All right, so that's on and it's looking beautiful. And there's one more thing I wanted to do to this thing today, but I've got to wait for the sun to go down. So I'll be back. Six and a half hours later. So it, it's not quite exactly dark, but it is dark enough. And as we can see by, let me step out of the way. You look at where these headlights are pointing and I've got the truck about, oh, 12 feet away from the garage door. And they're pretty much bang on level. And I'd like them to be down a little bit. And that one's, well, it's just not right. It, it kind of looks like, well, that, I've got these little, uh, what looks like adjuster screws right there. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try spinning those and see what happens, boy cracky. So there, I think that's better than it was. Um, yeah, the bulbs themselves aren't too great to begin with, but uh, yeah, I think it's much better now. So once it's really dark outside, I'll see if I can see anything. And while I was putting this all together, I found something else I need to replace. Yep, time for hood struts. Did the ones for the lift gate, just haven't done the ones for these. But hey, you know what? That's gonna have to do it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.